Hello everyone, well I'm back again for 2021. Oh, I have to say this first week or so of the year has been an absolute struggle and I've really not felt in the mood to do pretty much anything. Anyway, I thought I would do a little video tonight. Backups, again, yeah, talking about backups. But this time I'm trying out the KDE backup tool called KUP. I would believe that would be pronounced. I don't think that's just KUP. I'm sure it is KUP. So it is a backup tool built into KDE and is an alternative to Lucky Backup, which I have been using in the past. And Lucky Backup is just a front end to rsync. So rsync is a command line utility that can do a like for like -like copy of a backup. So it copies also all the source files from one folder into a destination folder. And if you happen to delete a file in the source folder, it will be deleted on the destination folder. That's a like a one-to-one copy of backup. So it's not versioned, it is a like-to-like -like copy. Now honestly, I wouldn't really use KUP in any other desktop. The only reason I'm looking at it in KDE is because this is the desktop I predominantly use and it is built in, or built into the settings menu as long as you install it. So yeah, any other desktop, well, like GNOME, I would look at using Deja Dup. So my little recommendation there. Of course you can use Lucky Backup in other desktops. And you can use the command line tool rsync anywhere else. Anyway, looking in the system settings, backups, so this is KUP. So the options we get, we can choose between a version backup and a synchronized backup. The version backup is not available for me because I do not have BUP or BUP installed. So yeah, the synchronized backup is, as I was saying, that the source folder will be copied over to the destination folder. And if you delete a file in the source, it will be deleted in the destination. So this backup can protect you against data loss due to a broken hard drive, but it does not help you recover files from your own mistakes. <laughs> that is uh, assuming you fail to get a copy of the backup in time before it's overwritten. So you can choose which folders you want included as the sources, and you can choose the destination. So the destination for me is going across to my NAS, which is mounted as an NFS file system, and I've chosen the folder in there called Backup. You can also use external storage devices, such as a USB hard drive. You can schedule a backup, so you can go for manual activation, a fixed interval of so many hours, days or weeks, or the active usage times. This is the time you've been using your computer since the last backup was saved. And you can choose whether to have the confirmation before the backup takes place. So. Yeah, it's got a few little fail saves there. You can deny to do the backup, and the backup for me would just pop up in the top right hand side as a built in message box in KDE. And yet, there's a couple of advanced options here as well. So, it's all very simple to use, and yeah, open and restore from existing backups. I've got that option there as well. So, yeah, it's been perfectly fine to use no real problems here. What I will say is that there is one little feature that Lucky Backup has that KUP doesn't. And that is the dry run. So if I do a dry run, I get to see what will be copied or deleted when the backup takes place. Obviously, that's not going to happen here because nothing has changed between the source and destination here. But that is an option I can have here in Lucky Backup. Although on the downside, I have to run Lucky Backup manually. Although if I did set it up through rsync, then yeah, I could make it a cron job. So there's ways of doing it automatically. But yeah, otherwise I would be failing in my duties if I didn't mention that uh, feature is missing that Lucky Backup has that KUP doesn't. Anyway, I'm going to continue using KUP now. And it is really good to have the reminder of when backup is going to take place. It's, well, it just reminds me to get the job done and not just leave it until, oops, it's too late or anything like that. So yeah, I'm hoping the rest of the year goes better for me. Um, I'm sure these dark, dismal days of winter are the worst and the brightness of uh, summer and spring will help. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.